y'all it's a new day it's a new vlog we are headed to our post-op appointment two weeks since my surgery um, and I'm not gonna lie I thought by week one I was gonna be jolly and back to normal <laughs> but we're at week two and I'm almost there I would say I think I would have been there if I didn't end up getting a bronchitis um, so that's what we found out why I had a bad cough so we love that but we're gonna go to this appointment and ask if I ruptured my muscle because <laughs> it feels like it but no that's where we're headed back to my doctor to see where we're at and what next steps are and to see if my incisions are a okay every time I come they put new socks for the month so these are Easter <laughs> I wanted to tell everybody that um, I swear Luke tries to make this about him every single time. I needed a band-aid. He needed a band-aid. <laughs> they got your band-aid. Look, and she got me an extra one just in case I run out. In decision update. Looks better. I just want to make sure I didn't like mm -hmm. hurt it at all. No, the big did. one. Yeah. Um, by all the coffee. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. If I can just tell it's a little bit more raised. Yeah, it will be. And probably part of that is just the swelling. I mean, it, yeah. it took some brute force to get that thing on over. <laughs> but they look great. It's yeah, exactly how I want them to look. Okay, good. So this is your uterus right here. Mm -hmm. So this is the first, second, third, and fourth picture. So it's easier to kind of start here because this is uterus. This is your left ovary hanging down the white, and then this is your right ovary hanging down. Oh, and if we wow. zoom in on that, there it is a little bit more close. You can see how there's that little, that's where we basically clamped, cut, and burned. And that literally was a stock, like this little, like, mm. projection that came off, but then attached to this. And I'll zoom back out so it's not so. Oh, my gosh. So that thing was effectively taking up that entire space right there. That's how big it was. Hmm. Really solid. <laughs> I can't believe you. That's all you had to get out. I know. Yeah, because you said you couldn't drain it, right? No, it was solid. Yeah. We tried to drain, but it was yep. all solid components. Mm -hmm. It was a real fibrous, um, we call it a tumor, and, mm -hmm. but it's completely benign. So. It is the next day, and I thought while I do my makeup, I was going to go ahead and talk to you about the doctor appointment we had um, yesterday. And I'm not a makeup artist, so please don't come for me. For those who are new here and you're wondering why we were at our doctor's appointment, we decided to start our pregnancy journey about a year ago. And come to find out, I ended up having a tumor that was hanging off of my right ovary. Um, and it was starting to grow drastically the past few months um, of this year. So we decided we definitely needed to get that out before we dare start getting pregnant. <laughs> Obviously, because that could be really dangerous. So that is what I have been recovering from. I had surgery to get it removed, the tumor, and thankfully it was not cancerous. It was benign, so praise the Lord. With that being said, so that is where we're at right now. Um, I started a, I started to film the outro of this video yesterday after appointment, but it didn't really seem genuine with how everything we were feeling. Um, it seemed like yesterday honestly just brought a lot of emotions after that appointment because we were basically talking about next steps for pregnancy and it was a really good appointment. There was nothing bad at all about it. Uh, it was honestly just a little overwhelming and I really wasn't expecting that. So now that the tumor's out, my doctor had first said that um, I have PCOS, which basically means I just have a irregular cycle, which means I probably don't ovulate correctly or as much so they would like to start me on a pill that helps regulate that and strengthens that and apparently a lot of women really get um, pregnant pretty quickly after taking it so they recommended that I heal for a couple more weeks and then we could give them a call whenever we're ready and we could start that pill 
really whenever we want. And honestly, I kind of got emotional because I was like, it's like, it kind of feels like it's in our hands and like we're here. Like we're at this moment where we could literally be pregnant this year if we really tried. So I just got a little emotional to be honest because I just, it just seems like it came faster than it felt. Um, this has probably been some tough couple years, but we're here. It's kind of crazy to think about. But the reality of it all, and this is where I wanted to be like completely honest with you guys, is that we trust the Lord in His timing, and we know He's going to be with us every step of the way. But our flesh gets to us sometimes. And we kind of freak out for a second because <laughs> we start thinking about how much these medical bills just were for the surgery, um, let alone trying to have a baby. So um, to be honest, that kind of took over yesterday and we were a little stressed out thinking about how we're going to make this work if we do end up getting pregnant. Um, and ultimately at the end of the day like everything's gonna work out the way it's supposed to and the lord is not gonna give us a baby if we're not ready and so if we're ready and we get pregnant and that's the lord saying this is it so we're really trying our best to lean on to that um and just keep praying that we have guidance and that we have peace about what is to come through all of this. Um, so that's kind of just where we were at yesterday. We're just kind of overwhelmed. But that's just something like I wanted to speak about because obviously all of these vlogs, y'all have seen like the highlights or like a quick moment of the lows of the lows. But you never really get to hear the details of it all. And that was just something to be honest about, that yesterday we got good news, but we kind of left stressed out just because America, <laughs> the world that we live in, it just kind of gives you a little bit of anxiety of what could come. Um, you kind of feel not prepared for it. But from what I've heard from everybody is you really can't prepare <clears throat> for a baby. But you could definitely like prepare in some ways, like just be financially more stable or financially smarter. Anyways, so with that being said, Luke and I kind of had to have a conversation where we were like, we are not gonna make a call to our doctor until we fully both feel complete peace about having a baby. Um, it's gotta be a clear sign from the Lord that's saying y'all are ready. And I want to feel that peace and excitement and I want Luke to feel that peace and excitement. Um, I don't want to be the only one excited about having this baby and I don't want Luke to be the only one excited to have the baby. I want us both to be on the same page and so of course, right now, obviously, I'm healing from surgery, so it's not even a question. We definitely will not be making that phone call anytime soon. But when we do, it's going to be because we're both ready. Um, so that's where we're at with that. But it's so exciting and amazing to know that like our biggest issue at the time was this tumor, and it's completely gone. And What's even crazier is, I don't know, I know most of y'all, <coughs> sorry, bronchitis. I know that some of y'all probably um, already know this, but um, I'm gonna say it again. But we were fully expecting when we went into that surgery that they were gonna be taking the tumor, they were gonna take my right ovary, they were gonna take my right tube, and they were potentially gonna take out two other things. I wasn't completely sure what they were. They were big words and I was just like, oh, okay. But this was like literally right before they were about to take me out. Um, so I honestly <laughs> I was just more worried about the surgery about to happen, not really listening. Anyways, 
after the surgery come to find out they only had to take out the tumor nothing else which was like so amazing oh my gosh it's funny because i really haven't even really um mentally like taken that in yet because i have been in so much pain that crying and coughing and sneezing and laughing has hurt so bad but anytime i get a chance to just think about it i'm just like thank you lord we would not be here if it were not for you and we would not have a, this blessing and miracle to talk about if it weren't for you so all praise to the lord through this whole journey because literally would not be where I'm at right now if it were not for the grace of God and the peace that he gives us and patience so that is where we are at um with after that doctor's appointment as you saw they showed us pictures I hadn't gotten to see what the tumor looked like inside of me which first off gross um but second off kind of cool to see I really hope that the next vlog of our pregnancy journey i'm not saying the next vlog but the next pregnancy journey vlog will be us announcing we are pregnant i really hope but like i said earlier luke and i both have to be on the same team same mindset about it we both have to feel that peace and that is when that will happen thank y'all so much for watching our vlogs honestly the biggest blessing about making these vlogs is we have so many people praying for us which is all i would want out of all of this is all the prayers please uh, but not only that i really hope that there are and i know there are a few because i've gotten some messages but i really hope that any girl or any guy honestly if you're a husband in this i really hope that if y'all are going through something like this that y'all do not feel alone and feel like y'all can reach out to us at any time, please. I'm so serious. My Instagram handle, I'll put it up here. It is Miranda underscore 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 Stevenson. And please DM me if you need a friend. I will be there, I swear. Please let me know. I hate that people feel like they have to be alone or are embarrassed about talking about this stuff because you should not feel that way at all anyways but that's the end of this vlog we will see you on the next vlog hopefully we'll do something fun because also i'm kind of tired of these like emotional and dramatic series <laughs> i think i almost just not rocking it <laughs> anyways we will see you on the next vlog um i hope you'll have a great rest of your week